Hello and welcome back to our lectures today. Today we'll be talking about uses of alcohols. Um, as you can see, the two pictures I have here, two common pictures, um, when with alcohol, one usually come to mind is usually uh, ethanol, the one you, you, you get from wine. So with the fermentation process of hops and a lot of stuff will give you, will produce alcohol and that's usually from there you make wine and other alcoholic beverages. And also, in these days of COVID, of course, uh, rubbing alcohol has become a very important tool in maintaining good personal hygiene and keeping yourself safe. So this tool, this is actually the one I bought from uh, a grocery shop. So that tell you, this is just reinforcing how important these alcohols, these alcohols are to us in our everyday life. Okay, let's take it off from there immediately. Um, I have a beautiful quote as usual. This quote is from Kobe Bryant of the Bread's Head Memory, his death broke so many hearts. He says, everything negative, pressure, challenges, are all opportunity for me to rise. So it's good for us to see challenges, to see difficulties as stepping stone for us to rise. This is a food for thought. Let's immediately take it off from there. So our learning objective today will just center on, uh, we we'll recognize the uses of some important alcohols and phenols, you know. So usually, um, you might see this kind of thing might creep in one or two, one or two of them into the multiple choice questions. But they are usually not things that I will focus a lot in asking you about them in uh, essay questions or written questions. But it's important we know this, particularly as a health practitioner. So, all right, let's immediately take it off from there. Methanol is the first one we're going to be talking about. Methanol is also called methyl alcohol. I know I've made reference to that. Or wood alcohol. Uh, the formula I see, H3OH, um, used as a solvent, commonly as a solvent that dissolves polar solvent, polar solute, I mean to say, and also used in making formaldehyde. You know, formaldehyde. Um, if you oxidize alcohol, you remember when we talked about alcohol, we said the oxidation of a primary alcohol will give you formaldehyde and further oxidation will give you carboxylic acid. So that's exactly how you use it. So oxidation of this actually converts it to formaldehyde, which is an oxidation product. And formaldehyde is used as an industrial starting material for plastic production. It's also used as fuel. Yeah, it's also it's wood alcohol. It's also used as fuel in in this tyrosine cars and another product it is highly toxic this is a very a highly toxic alcohol and causes blindness particularly in a very high concentrations and even death if if taken internally so it is highly toxic and that is very interesting because by the time you get to alcohol alcohol is not as toxic sorry but that will get to ethanol ethanol is not as toxic as methanol itself now we get to the next one ethanol like i just said say the name and you see it ethanol or ethyl alcohol of course again remember ethyl alcohol because it has ethyl group and an alcohol that's why it gave you that name and uh the formula is c2h5oh so what do you have here oh i didn't talk about this you see what i had what i have here is the the ball and stick model not the ball sorry the space filling model the space filling model of c3 OH. So that is exactly what I have here. So uh, I just want to show you that a little bit fancy seeing organic molecules in that way. So like I said again, ethanol is called ethyl alcohol and uh, it is produced commercially from ethylene and through biological yeast. Yes, if hydration of ethene gas will give you, remember that hydration of alkenes will give you alcohol. If you hydrate ethene, it gives you ethanol now it's also produced by fermentation of carbohydrates you know when you ferment your hops and your bellies are not like in commercial production of either beer or wines when fermentation of carbohydrate result to production of uh, and that is and uh, that is a, a bacterial process or rather not a bacterial process that is uh, fermentation is usually done by microorganisms, particularly in this case, yeast actually, and yeast itself is, so it's a microbial action, that's what I want to say. So yeast is a type of microorganism that will help in this fermentation process. 
Again, it's also used as a solvent and as industrial starting materials for a lot of stuff. And also used as fuel. In fact, the fuel in some cars, you know, there has been a lot of subject in, in, in the green world to, to replace uh, to replace gasoline by alcohol, which, which whose consumption does not pollute the air a lot. So those particular fuel made from alcohol are called gasohol and a few cars run on gasohol and all the rest of them as well. And this is also a very important use of ethanol. Again, most importantly, it is found in so many alcoholic beverages. Of course, most of these alcoholic beverages are common around. And of course, you know, alcohol has a kind of stimulating effect and can induce a kind of feeling in some people. And beyond that, it's also a good source of energy as well. Like I said, it is moderately toxic. It is not toxic except in high concentration. And in high concentration, someone becomes intoxicated. And in such cases, particularly if you drink and drive, you're going to be charged with a DUI uh, driving under the influence of alcohol. You shouldn't do that at all. All right. So this is all about ethanol. Like I said, this is the, again, the space filling model. The space filling model tells you the relative size of the atoms uh, in the molecule. And again, Credit to Wikipedia, that is where I got these two glass of yellow and red wines, of course, both of which are made from ethanol. So it's important we recognize that. Now, other important alcohols also, we're going to be looking at 2-propanol, also called 2-propanol is isopropyl alcohol, but the common name is the rubbing alcohol. You find this in most of the first aid, first aid kits. You find them in first aid kits or boxes. Or boxes a lot and it is used in it is remember it is it can act as an antiseptic in cleaning uh, minor wounds you know before the person gets to the hospital and all the rest of that so this is uh, so I know we've done this thing before but if you just want to still know the structures of this I can draw a few of them the structure of alcohol is this don't forget that uh, is a primary alcohol which group is at this point and if we're going to draw the structure of methanol as well methanol just has only one just metal like i said this is why you call it methyl alcohol so this is ethyl this is a two group alcohol so like we're talking about our rubbing alcohol which is isopropyl alcohol like i told you it is used commonly in first aid it has a good antiseptic in cleaning wounds a minor wound it's not it's not going to give you a remedy but you need to quickly and this is a very good example of a rubbing alcohol bottle that you buy in any of the grocery shop or in pharmacist also we have another important one here the glaze, glycerin or glycerol or the systemic name or the IOPAC name is 123 propentriol. 123 propentriol is also called glycerol or glycerin. It's used as a moisture agent in food and in tobacco as well. Usually used in making some of these uh, flavored uh, e cigarette. Yes, it is relatively non toxic and also used as certain qualities in both soaps. It is used in making a lot of the soaps and the lotions you use in maintaining your skin. So, this is the structure. Uh, the just this one is not is not a space filling model. This is the ball and stick model. This is the ball and stick model. The ball and stick model of glycerol. Now it is glycerol has is a trihydric alcohol because it has trihydroxy group. So if you want to draw it, it's a propane. So this pro propane propane ring will be three prop. It has OH group in those three rings. And then you have to satisfy this. And that's what we call it propane. This is prop. And with single bond, propane. One, two, three. So we just number one, two, three, triol. So that is exactly what it is. Okay. This is remember this is hydrogen. Okay. So all right. We now go to the next one. Uh one, two, eight, a ten diol or eight link like all. Uh is a common automotive antifreeze and it's also used in the manufacture of polyester fibers as well again it is and it is a dihydric alcohol dihydric remember we said that propane one to three uh, one to three propane triol or glycerol is a trihydric so this is dihydric dihydric means it has two oh groups 
so and again like i said it has only two a 10 because it has only two carbons so it's one to a 10 diol it's a diol as well so if you don't want to say you can say a diol because the last one we talked about which is the glycerol is a triol or you can say a trihydric alcohol all right so we also have another one one to propen diol or you say it is propylene glycol it's used as an antifreeze also used as food and for also manufacturing of uh, polymers as well now this has the ring is three but it has the oh group in carbon number one so if i love this one two three has one and two has the oh group that's why we say it is propane look at this so it is one two propane diol so it's a diol as well just like uh the uh, one two a ten diol other important ones we're going to be looking at will be remember when we talked about this chapter we said phenol is the remember we said phenol is the aromatic phenol itself is the aromatic alcohol so we're also going to be looking at the uses of a few phenols so because phenols are aromatic alcohols now generally most of them are used as disinfectants in a dilute solution of course disinfectants are used for cleaning surfaces in households and hospitals so phenol derivatives are used as disinfectants that's basically where we use them for walls and furniture in 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 hospitals in schools and in homes and particularly these days of covid 19 cleaning has become an integral part of our life and this is how important this these things are so a few of them we have here is two phenyl phenol remember if you want to name this is easy phenol is this ring remember this ring is the ring of phenol now when you have the, the benzene ring as an attachment we call it phenyl so and is attached and remember this is carbon number one this is carbon number two so it is is attached to carbon number two so it's two phenyl phenol that is how we name this one again we have another one here uh this is two benzyl four chlorophenol also an important uh disinfectant what is happening here now to name this one is easy to but you know this attachment we didn't do it it is beyond the purview of this club but let me tell you this attachment is called benzyl benzyl so this benzyl is attached to number two so if you can't this is going to be one two three and four so it is two benzyl four chlorophenol that's exactly how you name this so again this is both of these guys are used both of these compounds or rather derivative of phenols are used as disinfectants in cleaning very very important these days to maintain high hygiene all right other other ones we're going to be talking about uh, other important derivative of phenols will be the ones that are used as common antioxidants in food they are used as food additives because they play important role in uh they play important role as antioxidants and you know the role of antioxidants the main role of antioxidants is that antioxidants try to clear or mop up free radical oxygen that are generated through metabolic processes or as a result of uh, pathology or like or even in cases whereby there could be possibility of cancer because it's been thought that part of the early stages of initiation of cancer could be caused by uh, free radicals that are floating around in the body so the essence of antioxidants is they come and mop up those free radicals and then oxidize them further or rather reduce them to products that are not toxic in the body so like i said again the role of antioxidants is what they do is to ingest ingest or mop up you can say mop up free radicals from the body free radical oxygen particularly free radical oxygen is any radical that has that uh, a free radical oxygen that has that electron that can easily go and abstract other electrons from the tissues proteins and cause a lot of problems so we have two of them here which are common their common names um their common names are they are particularly known by their common names like the bha is called the butylated hydroxy anisol and this is called the butylated hydroxy tyluene but you can also name them through the systemic name if you want to name them systemically we can count look, look at what is happening here this is a phenol remember all of them are derivative of phenol so they have to be named as phenol so if you want to count this now we count one two three four 
five, six. Of course, you're not going to see this nomenclature, but it's just to make you, just to open you up to the competence in trying to know how we do some of this nomenclature. That is why I'm doing this. So now, so we have Ted Butyl in carbon number two, and we have this. Now, this is called methoxy. I know this functional group, we didn't do it, but this is called methoxy. So it is just methyl group that has the attached to O. It's called methoxy. So this is called, no. So this is called methoxy from methoxy attachment. So if one of them this thing now this comes with, so it's gonna be two tet butyl two tet butyl four methoxy phenol. That is how we name that's how we, we come up with this name. Two tet butyl four methoxy phenol. Again we go to this one. The same thing. The 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 butylated hydroxy to tyloin. Oh I didn't uh, I didn't put the the, the 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 abbreviation is BHT. This is BHA. This is BHT. Now for BHT, let's look at it. You have this attached here. This is both of these uh, third butyl attached here. You can come from any direction. It doesn't really matter because both of them come, and this is going to always be number four. So if I come from this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what's it going to be? I have this in carbon number two and carbon number six. So it's going to be two six dieted butyl that's what i have here because two of them two cis dieted butyl then four methog four methyl this is not methoxy remember this is methyl i almost said methoxy four methyl phenol so this is two cis dieted butyl four methyl phenol you can see this type of nomenclature in exam because all these attachments we already covered them the only one we didn't cover here is methoxy which i will never ask you at all about so this is these are this these two derivative of phenols are used uh, are used as food addictive because of their important roles as antioxidants and having said this we've come to the end of this lecture thank you once again for listening by at this point